President Duterte will be cutting short his holiday break in Davao. He will be flying back to Manila for a special meeting with COVID-19 task force officials tomorrow. That's December 26. Spokesman Harry Roque says the president called for the meeting to discuss the new and more infectious COVID-19 strain spreading in the United Kingdom. Let's recall that the national government recently banned all flights to and from Britain starting December 24 until December 31. Roque says they will discuss the possibility of extending the travel ban. They will also look into expanding it to include other countries that have recorded cases of the UK variant, such as Singapore, Nigeria, and Hong Kong. Kung maging decision ng uh, presidente sa ayon sa rekomendasyon ng ilang uh, miyembro ng IETF na dapat uh, patagaling pa yung travel ban sa Inglaterra, eh, siguro that dyan po sa pagpupulong na yan aaturbahan. At inaasahan ding pag-usapan kung kinakailangan ba magkaroon ng travel ban dun sa mga lugar kung saan nakapasok na ang bagong strain ng COVID-19. As for the possibility of imposing stricter lockdowns due to what experts already describe as the resurgence of COVID-19 cases, the palace says that may not be necessary for now. Hindi naman po siguro dahil talagang pinangangalagaan na po natin yung ating uh, uh, mga mamamaya na magkaroon ng hanap buhay. At uh, tingin ko naman itong nakalipas sa Pasko bagat maraming agam-aga, tingin ko naman po napatunay ng Pilipino na kaya nilang sumunod dun sa mga minimum health standards. More countries are reporting COVID-19 cases involving this new virus strain from the United Kingdom. Germany, as well as other European countries, have reported infections from the new strain, prompting travel bans against UK and renewed lockdown measures. But what do we know so far about this new strain? Well, for starters, the new variant was first reported in the United Kingdom, has been dubbed the B117 strain. British researchers observed uh, this to be 70% more contagious compared to other SARS-CoV-2 variants. B117 is also believed to have undergone more than a dozen mutations, signaling a faster rate of change compared with other strains. More than half of the infections in London early this month are being linked to this variant. Now, aside from B117, another COVID-19 strain was also reported in South Africa which is seen to contribute to the surge in cases there. Total coronavirus cases worldwide is now at 79 million. Global deaths from the virus have gone more than 1.5 million.